YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about EDC Purse Edition. And the reason I say EDC Purse Edition is because before my current setup, which is in the video that I posted last week, um, this was my everyday carry setup. And I wanted to talk about it because um, I think there's a few things to discuss here, but not only that, a lot of women carry um, with their purse. So I am not going to go into all of the things that I carry in my purse because I already covered that in my last video. Um, pretty much all of the extra things that I showed are the things that I um, carried with me. The only difference is the method and the gun. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Please become part of the family and subscribe below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you like and share my video and ring that notification bell for future videos and more content. And with that said, let's just get right to it. I was carrying my Glock 19. Um, it is Cerakoted. <laughs> Obviously, you guys are probably starting to see a theme here. Um, I do have a threaded barrel on it right now, but when I was carrying it, this was not on here. So this is just um, for my silencer by Silencer Co. If you're curious, that is what that is there for. Um, it is Cerakoted in Robin's Egg Blue, and I'm not sure what the silver is called. Um, I will put that in the description box below um, if you're curious about that name. Um, it is just a fantastic, reliable gun. However, it is a full size and it's big so and it's heavy. So when it comes to concealed carry, um, it's, it's not the greatest, but it's not an end all for me. Um, I do switch in between the two every once in a while, but as of lately, especially in my last EDC video, my go-to has been my, my uh, SIG 238. My go-to setup has been my Kate Spade bag here. It's a crossbody and has a slide pocket right here. And the flap is magnetic, so it just flops open. So in terms of um, concealed carry, this is really nice because if you were into a situation, you just flop it open and grab your gun on the inside. Um, the insert that I used, this I believe is by Crossbreed, and it has just the Velcro right here and then the Kydex holsters just stick to it. It's pretty tough if you can see. I'm not going to pull those off because I have them positioned the way I want. My Glock would just sit right in here, and then the mag would sit right in there. Now, at the time, I was very new with my concealed carry license, and so I was actually uncomfortable with carrying my gun loaded at the time. Uh, I was just practicing getting used to even having my gun on me and out in public. Um, now I know that's far from ideal because if you were into it in a situation, you would have to get your gun out, get your magazine out, load it, you know, uh, load one in the chamber. And that takes a lot of time in intense situations where time is key. So, um, but that is just what I was doing at the moment. So that is what the setup was. And it would just fit right in here. And that's what that would look like. I'll insert, I'll insert some photos of how I wore it. So that is what what my EDC was. I want to talk about the purse method. I would change out my purses. I do have quite a bit of purses. Um, I normally stick to around this size, a medium size. Like I said in my last video, I don't like a lot of things. I like to be very comfortable. Um, I strive for comfort. Let's talk about purses because there's handbags, there's shoulder bags, there's crossbodies. Um, and when I am looking for purse, I always go for crossbody. Uh, again, you guessed it, one is for comfort. Um, two, it allows me to be hands-free. Um, no matter what I'm doing, grocery store, running errands, 
I love that I can just sling it over me like this and I'm good to go. The other reason that I go for crossbodies is because I am also very, very, very aware that my gun is on me. And I've taken a lot of time to think about this, and this is just my preference. The number one reason why I gravitate towards crossbody is because of theft. If someone was going to steal my bag, it's going to be very, very difficult for them to get this off of my body. I mean, they would really have to go for it. I mean, they would actually have to cause me harm to get this off. So that is the number one reason. If I had a shoulder bag or a handbag, someone could come up behind me and yank it out really fast or yank it off of my shoulder if I'm not aware of what's going on and boom, they're gone. Uh, back in the day, my husband used to teach concealed carry classes and I would help him with those and one of the number one things that he would teach is that you are responsible for your gun. You are responsible for every bullet that comes out of your gun and I take that very seriously and so when I'm in public, I make sure that my gun, if it's in my purse, it is always on my person. So that is just one of the things that I think through when I'm looking at a new purse. So a majority of my purses are cross bat or cross bat, cross body bags. Another thing that I also look for in purses, if um, I can't use, if I can't use this insert, is I look for a pocket. Right here, there's a little side pocket, oftentimes, to put your phone in or whatnot. And oftentimes, um, a gun will also fit in there. And it's not super secure like this thing is. However, they, there isn't a lot of give in those pockets, so it will allow for your gun to sit in there. I don't do that very often, but it is something that I keep in mind when I am looking for a purse. Clothing options. This is my way to carry when I'm wearing a dress or a skirt, um, or even I'll go to a smaller size um, purse and uh, like I said, do the pocket method. I have a lot of friends that do that. Um, and the reason I go for a purse and not a belly band or even I've seen the spandex shorts with the holsters on the side. Belly bands, I'm on the fence about. I haven't tried them, but I have a hunch that I will not like them. Um, I am not a person that likes to be constrained. And like I said in my last video, I don't like lots of layers or like tight layers. Um, and so I don't even like turtlenecks. I just feel like bleh. So I don't know. I will try them and let you guys know if I change my mind on that. But as of right now, I, I just know myself and I know what I like and what I don't like, and I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna like that. I did see a picture on Instagram with a lady wearing um, spandex shorts underneath her skirt, and they had a, <sighs> on the thigh, it had like a pocket to put your gun into. And um, I'll tell you my two thoughts. The first picture was of her skirt down and you could see the bulge on her thigh. So one, I didn't like that because you can see it. Two, if you were into a situation, you would have to pull your skirt up and pull that gun out. So that's just my opinion just from looking at it. Now again, I haven't tried it so I can't really give a full review, but I see that being a problem. Um, but I would say my number one dislike about it was the fact that you could see the bulge on her leg. So um, that is why I right now go with the purse carry when I'm wearing a dress or a skirt and that's the method that I choose. Purses made specifically for uh, concealed carry where they have the zippers on the side with little keys. Um, I have looked at so many different ones online um, there are some ones that are okay in my mind, but I'm just going to tell you where I'm at. I am a designer purse junkie. I just don't like the purses out there personally that are made specifically for concealed carry. So until someone comes out with something a little more high-end, um, 
you know, something along that nature, then I'm probably just gonna stick to um, my methods that I just went over now. Um, the only thing I haven't really researched is different insert methods. I have seen a few that I thought might be okay, um, but for right now, this is what I do. Well, that is the end of my video. I lost the very end of the footage, so here I am refilming, but anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.